Mambo number five. What's up guys, it's Case, and I'm playing Need for Speed and Most Wanted for the fifth day of Christmas gaming. Uh, a lot of the uh, different games I've been playing over Christmas, like, so I thought, you know, I got all, mo pretty much all the big releases this year, apart from Far Cry. Oh, go away. Um, I'm going to do uh, one of the Most Wanted races in a yellow Aventador. <laughs> yeah, if I, I figured I'd make it interesting, apparently my next target is uh, a Pagani. Uh, I don't know what Pagani. Um, so it's going to be difficult. So I went and... I can't drive. <laughs> I went and uh, got picked the uh, Lamborghini because uh, it's faster. I've been using the 4 GT most of the game. Because I love the Ford GT, it's a great car. Uh, so I picked a faster car, got all the uh, upgrades for it, as you should be able to see there in the bottom right. My tyres are track, my nitrous is burned because it's better than power shot. Uh, I've got lightweight chassis to make my car lighter, aero body to make it faster, and the short gears to give me a better transmission uh, for my. Um, acceleration as I feel like it needs acceleration look 100 in like less than two or three seconds so here we go wish me luck I've not even attempted this guy yet uh, the last one I actually beat was the Aventador so I figured yeah I'll use it so They have some weird intros to these cars. That's not a Pagani. That's a Bugatti Veyron. Okay, well this is a surprise. I gotta race that thing now. Great. I may lose. That was early. Checkpoint missed my ass. Damn, that is fast. Come on. Go, 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 go. That thing just powers through stuff. Oh, come on! Right, I'm gonna restart, guys, because this sucks. There's no way I'm gonna win now. Oh, actually, I might. Whoa. Keep trying, keep going. Sup? Ah, uh, fuck. Really not doing well. I think he's fucked up. He's fucked up. Awesome. Ah, a bit too much on the handbrake there. Sorry, Americans. Emergency brake. It's not really an emergency, though, is it? It'll spin your car out. don't have off-road tires on, so... I knew I'd hit the van. Of course I'd hit the van. Damn van. Screw the van! In high in action and shit. Stop handbraking! God damn it! Come on! He's fucked up again. He's got too fast a car and he can't control it. 
then again, I can't really talk, can I? Ah. How far is this race? 1.5, here we go. Aha, he screwed up as well. Owned. That was satisfying. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, oh, look at that, lovely. Veyron did it as well. Not so great. 0.4 miles. This will be interesting if I win. I win. Yes! Now I gotta take him out, and then I can have his car. Oh, he looks sad. Yes, a car can look sad. Let's go and kick his ass. Might give me a few uh, minutes or so to tell you how I think of the game. Fucking, it's awesome. Only problem is, I'm not entirely happy with EA's choice on the series. A uh, bit of background story right now. Criterion are the guys who used to make the Burnout series. I've not been a fan of Burnout. Uh, I did, I've played most of them. They're okay. I've been a Need for Speed, uh, Die Hard Need for Speed fan since Underground 2. Um, I've played every single one. I don't uh, count Shift as an Need for Speed title, as it shouldn't be. It's not. So it's more of a sim driver simulation thing. Um, so yeah, Criterion used to make Burnout, and then Black Box, EA Black Box used to make the Need for Speed series. Uh, the last Black Box game was The Run, which I thought was incredible. Probably like right up there with the best Need for Speed games. Still think the original Most Wanted is the best Need for Speed game. People can disagree with me, whatever. Um, Criterion made Hot Pursuit, the latest Hot Pursuit, not the old school ones, and then Burr Black Box made The Run. The Run uh, didn't do so great. Uh, then Criterion t took another turn. They've been doing kind of what Call of Duty was doing with Treyarch and uh, Infinity, Infinity Ward. So now Cry Criterion made this one, uh, the new Most Wanted. Um, I don't think I've been down this road before. And uh, so now Criterion have made this one. It's, it's good, it just feels like too burnout-y and that's what I don't like. Hot Pursuit was like that as well. It was too burnout-y and it's not. Need for Speed is supposed to be Need for Speed. Uh, so they've made, they made the now, now I, sorry, EA. <coughs> EA have now made, um, EA are now uh, in the, well, they've been in charge since the beginning because it's their publishers. Uh, now Criterion have the rights and the lead on all of the Need for Speed games, which isn't great news for me. This one's good; it's enjoyable. It's still burnouty, but you know what can they do? So now Criterion are going to make all of them in future and stick their name on it, which. Okay, great, but I don't think there's going to be any really cool original ideas anymore. I don't know what the fucking game is doing. My Kinect thinks I'm saying things to it. I hate you, Kinect. So, we're going to have to make do with the uh, criteria. But anyway, this game is fun. It's a lot of crashing. I feel like your cars can't take anything. You can't fucking... You clip something and you're out. It just feels like every car's too vulnerable. I mean, you can get like chassis, like real force chassis. I'll use them now, actually, as soon as as if I made that. No, I won't. Stick to these. And I feel like it keeps taking the hood away. Things you want to see, it keeps taking them away. 
Like, it's after a race, it loads something for two seconds. There you go. See? That was an hour ago. Why didn't I, why didn't I see that when it came up? I'm not bothered about evading pursuits. That happens every two bloody seconds. Police will chase after you for anything now. If you look at them wrong, they'll be like, that guy's a fucking criminal and come after you. That's straight out of Burnout Paradise, the whole fixing garage and stuff. It just feel like they're taking too much from an old series. They're going to lose fans, that's what I feel like they're going to do. They're going to lose fans uh, on the Need for Speed series. The die-hard Need for Speed guys. If they made a game like Burnout, uh, not like Burnout, like Need for Speed Most Wanted or Need for Speed Carbon or Underground 2, if they came out with an Underground 3 out of nowhere, people would love them. And they made that good. They make, if they make it like Underground 2, they'd gain everyone. Even the Burnout fans. That's what people have been waiting for. It's like Half-Life. People are waiting for Half-Life 3. When's it going to happen? Not till next gen, I, I say. If you ask a Valve member what uh, anything about Half-Life 3, they'll either shut up and not say a word, or they'll just walk away from you. They're obviously making it. They're not very good at hiding that stuff. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's my that's my opinion. Rant over. Great game, it's fun. It just I don't have many people to play it with on my friends list because not many people are racing game fans. If they are, they're into Forza and stuff, so which I haven't tried the new Forza Horizon out yet, but I heard it's great. Uh, I need to congratulate Criterion anyway. I know I hate them, but I mean I need to congratulate them. They won uh, the VGA's uh, Racing game of the year. Impressive. So, uh, yeah, hats off to them. It is fun. Pick it up, it's a good game. Even if you just want to chill out and drive around the city for an hour. Just to chill out. It's like skate, I used to do that with skate. If I had a bad day, I'd just put skate on and skate around and chill. It's fun. So, yeah. I'm gonna, um, that's, that's the fifth day, fifth day, fifth day? Fifth day of Christmas gaming. Uh, next one will probably be something like Minecraft or something, because I need to put a Minecraft video up. I haven't put one up yet, and I've had it for ages. Great game. So uh, yeah, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video for the fourth day of Christmas gaming.